first thing you're going to do is to paint your boots. You're going to use a color called the Gulf. You're going to paint both boots even over the dots. We'll go back later and we'll paint the dots a, a different color. After you paint the rain boots, you're going to dry them with a hair dryer and then you're going to go back over them with another coat. Now you're going to go back and you're going to paint all the dots and the bottom of the boots. We used a color called the Daisy, which is a yellow. You're going to use a small brush to paint inside all of the circles and the bottom of the rain boots. Don't worry if you happen to get out of the lines and paint some um, yellow where you don't want it. You're going to be going back at the end and you're going to be outlining everything with a black Sharpie brush so this will cover up any mistakes that you might make. Now you're going to start with your flowers. You're going to take a color called peony, which is a hot pink, and you're going to color all of the spaces that are labeled with the num number three on the diagram. After you've painted um, all these spaces, you can blow them dry with a hair dryer and then give them a second coat if needed. Now you're going to paint the center of that flower, which is labeled number four, with a mixture of the peony, peony and the white. So mix a little bit of the peony with the white to get a light pink and color the center, which is labeled number four.
The next flower you're going to paint white, which is a color called cotton. You're gonna color all of the petals that are labeled with the number five on your diagram with the color cotton. Then you're gonna dry it and you're probably gonna need to give this a second and maybe a third coat. Now you're going to paint the center of that flower and another flower at the top with the color daisy. And those are both labeled with the number six. So take your daisy and paint the center of both of those flowers, which is labeled number six. Now you're going to paint the flower that's in the top right hand corner. You're going to paint all of the places that are labeled with the number seven on your diagram with a color called Florida Orange. After you finish, you can dry it and then give it a second coat if needed. going to paint the last flower purple. So you're going to take the color called amethyst and you're going to paint all of the places that are labeled with the number eight on your diagram. Then you're going to draw that and give it a second coat if needed.
Next, you're gonna take your amethyst and you're gonna mix it with white to make a lighter purple. You're gonna paint the spaces that are labeled with the number nine with this light purple. Next, you're going to take white and you're going to use the white to paint the area that is numbered with the number 10. Now you're going to paint the leaves, which are labeled with the number 11 on your diagram. You're gonna use a color called Evergreen. So paint all of the leaves, which are labeled with the number 11 with the color Evergreen. When you finish, dry them and give them a second coat. Now you're going to take your black Sharpie brush to outline all of the places that are etched into the shape. So this is an, a Sharpie brush, not a Sharpie marker. So you do not need to bear down really hard. So take your Sharpie marker and outline all of the places that are etched in the shape.
Now you're going to give your rain boots some highlights. You're going to do this by using white paint and a small angled flat brush. So get some paint on your, on your small angled flat brush and give your boots highlights where you think that there would be some natural highlights on your boots. If you're not sure where to make these highlights, just look at our example.